clearly it's never more important to at least try to stay germ-free. Phil Carizales is from Acme Paper, which knows how to do this because they are the largest distributor of antibacterial products in the Mid-Atlantic. Nice to see you. Thank you. And you guys are local. We are. We're in Jessup, Maryland, and also in Richmond, Virginia as well, too. And your job is to keep us germ-free, and you've got a lot of stuff here, so let's walk us through it. Okay. Well, one of the benefits of working with Acme Paper and Supply is we have great manufacturer relationships with you know, manufacturers like Purell, Clorox, Gojo, Ecolab, you name it. All the big guns. All the big guns that yeah. have spent a lot of years you know, getting programs together, you know, not only for a healthy workplace, but also a healthy home. Yeah. All right, so now you were telling me, because I said, you must be a bit of a germ freak. And you said you're not, really. I'm not. But you're in the germ freak business. I am. <laughs> right? I am. All right, so walk us through here. Okay, well, over here, you know, we have disinfectant wipes. You know, these are for tuberculosis as well, too. Wow. You know, of course, uh, you know, we have the disinfectant wipes that you can take to go with you. Handy packs from Kimberly Clark. Even Kleenex, that's 99.9% .9 of all uh, viruses that will kill it. Huh. Okay. You know, of course, you have your hand sanitizers like Purell, on the go right. washes. You know, even ones you can have to the side of a purse. And yeah, go well, with those you. are good. Those little. So let me ask you, how has your business changed? I would say in the last 10 years. I mean, when did when did Purell? When did the antibacterials become so so big? Uh, at least 10 to 12 years ago. Right. So how has this company changed and developed over the years to meet these needs? Uh, their research is just fantastic. You know. Sanitizer used to be at a minimum of 60% uh, alcohol, and then they realized that there was just a growing market for it. So, you know, they only, they used to have like the bigger items that would take care of the office buildings, healthcare facilities, education. Then they realized that there was a need for like the workplace, you know, desks, you mm -hmm. know, to uh, have people there to sanitize their hands on the go, you know, the wipes in the car. It's really grown to just a, a huge business worldwide. It's amazing, really. And you outfit how many different hospitals in the area? Just about everyone in the area. Just about everyone. So you know what you're doing here, but it doesn't make you crazy. You were saying, too, you eat well, you exercise. And what did you say about the pound of dirt? <laughs> I'm one of those people that think as a kid you probably need to eat three to five pounds of dirt, you know, well, to, uh, you know, Get your tolerances up. Well, very healthy perspective on it. Lots of good options here for us to stay clean. Absolutely. But I will shake your hand anyway. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you now very I gotta much. I got to clean. I'm just kidding. I'm <laughs> Time is 7:20.